That's why you don't leave Instagram comments when you drive. Sleep token is mid, is what I was saying on Sleep Token's newest post. I'm a fucking intellectual. You know, I think I started listening to Sleep Token a little bit later than most people. I'm into them. I like them. All you see, though, is hate. There's so much hate for this band. Please get Mid Token out of any metal class. They're not metal. They're crappy boy band. They suck. Mid Token. There's also a lot of really annoying love for this band that I fucking hate. Why the fuck am I watching TikTok on my PC? Any band that tries something new or is kind of gimmicky is gonna have a crazed fan base that would commit a genocide for them. So I understand that. I don't really understand the hate. So I decided to do some studying. Jesus fucking Christ. Four hours of looking through Sleep Token hater comments. Basically, there's only about five hater comments that you see. They just keep saying the same shit over and over and over again. So what I'm doing is writing down the ones I see the most. The comment that I saw more than any is Sleep, Sleep Token is mid. Are you 11 years old? You can talk better shit than that. Come on, bud. Hey, bud, can we cool with the guitar just a little bit here? I'm trying to relax, you know? You're mid. The next most popular hater comment the singing sucks. It all when them was gone. It's an acquired taste. He sings with a British accent, which is bold to say the least. Sorry, Bradley. One thing I fucking can't stand is grime. For those of you that don't know, grime is a style of English rap that sucks so many balls, like it fits so many fucking testicles in its mouth. It has we fucking rapping it. We fucking rapping it in. In the, in the grime, it's- My dick Papa Woody, you look like a hoodie cause I'm uncircumcised. Beans on toast, you just pulled up to a roast looking like a ghost cause I fucking stabbed ya. Vessel, the singer of Sleep Token, likes to put some of his, uh, some of this grimy stuff in the middle of these songs. I skip right through that part. I don't- I'm sorry. Dick may be small, but my fingers like King Charles. There's a reason we killed all you fucking redcoats. Our hip-hop is so much better. Full of freedom. And- Big booty hoes. That brings us into our third most popular hater comment, hip hop themes. I've really been trying hard to work out this hip hop drum pattern for the past hour. Let me. Right there, I get all tripped I like up. That I don't know shit. what. There's too many hip hop themes. You should really play some metal or something. How are these elitists, these gatekeepers, still around? I want every one of these guys to suck on my dick and balls. It's my preference to skip the grimy parts because I don't like grime. That doesn't mean that grime sucks. I did say that grime sucks balls earlier. That's me being theatrical. I understand that some people like grime and that's okay. I beat my shit to Lana, stroke my shit to Rihanna. Don't mess with me blood cause I stab blokes like Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> the fourth most popular comment. They're too experimental. Can I just say suck a dick? Like, that's all I- Can I just say suck a dick? How did we go from a bicycle to this fucking thing over here? Someone was like, hey, I want a motor on this motherfucker. Let's be a little experimental. And I'm sure some people were like, that motherfucker don't need a motor, man. It do. It do need a motor. Nothing is too experimental. It's not a real thing, unless you're, like, selling it. If you're selling it, like, if there's a guitar company being a little too experimental, it's like, fuck off. When you're making your music, be a little experimental. Who gives a fuck who likes it? Obviously, a lot of people like Sleep Token and how experimental they are. It might not be for you, but fuck you. You know what's not experimenting enough right now? Metal. Basically, instead of going dugga dugga da dugga, we're gonna go dugga dugga da dugga dugga, right? Right? It adds so- it, oh my god, it adds so much more fucking character. And then- and then in this next section, we're gonna go dugga dugga da 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 dugga dugga da 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 Right? It's so much fucking better. Hey man, you know what I could really use right now? Some underage pussy. What was the last big experimental thing Deathcore did? Probably the two the Hellfire breakdown, maybe? And it's just a competition now to see who can be heavier. Why can't we go in other directions. Like, you can keep that direction, because that's cool. I like to see how heavy metal can get. However, I want to see some other inter inter innervation. If you don't like the R&B and hip-hop styles that Sleep Token likes to intertwine in their music, go listen to After the Burial. Fuck it. 
Who cares? We live in a free country. You can listen to whatever you want, and there's plenty of fucking music right now. Too much. One of the most popular hater comments is, it's not metal. Define metal. What is metal? Is metal just any kind of music that's heavy? Because in that case, there's a lot of subgenres of EDM that are really heavy. Is that metal? No, no, metal has guitar in it. Does it? In that case, Sleep Token is metal. It has eight string guitar riffs and they're actually really heavy, but it also has synthesizers. Well, Slipknot also has turntables for some fucking reason. But I'm trying to confuse you guys because this whole genre thing is all bullshit. Our brains want to make things easy to comprehend. So we like to put things in categories like fucking astrology. I'm a Virgo. I, I beat, beat women. women. Why can't we just classify artists by I like this artist. I do not like this artist. Who gives a fuck if it's metal? Do you like it or do you not like it? I don't care if you like it or you don't like it. Do you only like it if it has the label metal on it? Is that is that the case? Is that what you're doing? Because that's fucking stupid. It doesn't sound like Dave Mustaine wrote this riff. Every time I see a band form and they're like, oh, we're going to be a rock band. We're going to be an indie pop band. We're going to be a metal band. It all just sounds like every other band in that genre. It's gonna be the exact same. There's no innovation. There's no experimentation. They just sound like every other band. Why don't you start a band and go, I don't know what the fuck we're gonna make. We're just gonna use what we like, kind of merge it all together into our own sound. Who gives a fuck? We're not gonna put a label on it. Those are the bands that become Sleep Token. And regardless of if you like Sleep Token or not, you gotta admit, there's not another band that sounds like Sleep Token. Sleep Token has had wild success. A lot of people do like them. Why? Because there's no other place to get that sound. I like that, and I want to see more of that. Okay? I don't want to see a fucking band that looks and sounds exactly like Megadeth. Anyway, love you guys. I love you guys a lot. You guys are awesome. Um, have a good year, okay? Peace.